Hello YouTube, I want to talk about uh, <clears throat> checking your antifreeze, your coolant for temperature. Uh, it's starting to get colder around here and you just want to make sure that your coolant's going to be good. Um, you just want to make sure that you're going to be using the 50-50 mixture so it can't freeze during the winter time, especially if uh, you live in climates where it's going to get pretty cold. I live in the Midwest, so it does get pretty cold around here. Um, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need some extra antifreeze or coolant. Um, I've got some here that's straight, in case I need to add some. Um, you can you can buy that bottle. Sometimes it's cheaper. Just make sure that you do mix it uh, because antifreeze has to be activated. And then the other thing that you're going to need, this is very important. This is what I like to use. Uh, this is going to be your tester right here. And uh, you can see right here, you can see the fill line. And it's got just this plastic tube that's on here that's, that's bendable. Um, you're going to want to only do this when the engine is cold and what you're going to want to do here is my engine's cold now I just actually just did an oil change you just remove it here and then this just goes inside of here see if I can make this work with one hand or not and I can't Okay, I just went ahead and sucked some fluid up in there, just kind of like a turkey baster, and as you can see, it's it's reading negative 37 there, so that's pretty good. You can actually make antifreeze too strong. You can see up there at the top, you can see the freeze point. You don't want it to ever get to that point because if antifreeze is too strong, it can actually, um, I wouldn't say freeze solid, but it can gel up. And then you can see all the other ones down there, the negative 18, or um, this stuff's pretty pretty light green in color a pretty good indicator of is if your antifreeze is kind of like a brown that is probably not any good um, and uh, you know the the more uh, light green in color you can't quite see the color on this but you can tell it's pretty good um, not great but pretty good it'll work and uh, like I said if it's brown in color you're gonna want to flush it um, it's actually not that hard I'm going to put this back. Uh, to flush the radiator, a lot of the times there's just a cap that's on the very bottom. And it's on the bottom of the radiator. They're going to be in different spots, but it'll be at the very bottom of the radiator. And they actually have like a flush kit that you can use to flush out the radiator. But a lot of guys, once they get it completely flush, you can actually put a garden hose down in it, flush it out as long as it's, you know, just like the regular regular antifreeze and just make sure that you use the antifreeze that is specified for your vehicle mine's the green um, some Chevrolets are going to use the Dex cool but uh, now that I've got this checked I might top that off a little bit more put the cap back on but uh, this vehicle is good to go for the winter time it's a pretty universal video but I'm probably going to go ahead and specify it for a Honda Civic all right thank you very much